right now, the city of London mourning the loss of Prince Philip. The husband of Queen Elizabeth has died at the age of 99. He had been in and out of the hospital with health issues over the years. Buckingham Palace announced his death in a tweet this morning saying, quote, it is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. CBS reporter Ian Lee has more on the prince's death from England. Signs of a nation in mourning. The flag at Buckingham Palace flies at half staff. The news of Prince Philip's death posted at the gates. The 99 year old royal passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Prince Philip earned the affection of generations here in the United Kingdom, across the Commonwealth, and around the world. Prince Philip, also known as the Duke of Edinburgh, was last seen in public a few weeks ago after he spent a month in the hospital for an infection and a heart condition. He was the longest royal consort in British history and was at Queen Elizabeth's side for more than seven decades. Historians say the prince will be remembered for both his charm and, at times, controversial comments. He was probably the most good-looking royal in history, but at the same time, he had his opinions. He knew what he was thinking. He, he was never easily swayed. And so she could depend on him in a way that no one else could. People are already laying flowers here at Windsor Castle. This is where Prince Philip spent much of the pandemic with the Queen. He was one of the best royals, if I'm honest, you know what I mean? Kind of thing, kind of, you know, had a great character, charisma. The Greek-born aristocrat, who served in World War II, retired from public engagements several years ago. He carried out more than 20 thousand of them on behalf of the crown. Ian Lee, CBS News, Windsor, England. Because of COVID restrictions, royal officials say Prince Philip will not have a state funeral or lion's day for the public to pay their respects. President Biden issued a statement on behalf of the United States saying in part, we send our deepest condolences to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the entire royal family, and all the people of the United Kingdom on the death of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. His legacy will live on not only through his family, but in all the charitable endeavors he shaped. I left my heart in San Francisco. And this is video we dug up from Davies Symphony Hall in San Francisco. Prince Philip singing along to Tony Bennett's performance of I Left My Heart in San Francisco. People around the world are reacting to the news of Prince Philip's death on social media. Tag us in your thoughts at KPIX TV.